Hi, it's Virtual One Media, and uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a nice clay render. Now, I got a simple scene here, simple scene setup. I got a spear, and I got the teapot, and I simply got simple plane, curved plane. So let's see how we can make a nice render. Cause if I will make make a render now, here's what I get, and uh, it doesn't look realistic. It doesn't look nothing. It just look at bad. So as you can see, all the colors are just everything is just unrealistic. And uh, in order to get a nice render, I'm gonna begin with a scanline render. So go to create tab, click on light, select skylight, and just add skylight anywhere in your scene. Now you wanna go to properties of that skylight. Uh, you wanna select cast shadows, and uh, for sake of drain drink, I'm gonna select that to 10. And uh, just go to rendering tab, render. Six four by four eight. That's fine. And uh, I'm just gonna render out the scene uh, and see what difference it's gonna make. And I'm uh, gonna come back after it's finished. Okay, so this is what we got. And uh, as you can see, we got that color back. We got nice shadows underneath, and uh, it's nice color as well. You can see a little bit of noise, but that's the only only reason because I actually selected uh, raise per sample at ten. If you increase that, it's gonna increase your rendering time dramatically. So be careful. But yeah, this is tutorial on ray trace, and uh, now let's jump over to mental ray. So just make a copy of this render, click on render, or click F10, scroll down, oh, sorry, scroll down, assign render, and on production render, you want to select on a mental ray, click OK, click indirect illumination, enable final gather, scroll down, and um, enable global illumination as well so on a final render we're gonna select this uh, medium and uh, just see how that looks okay so render is done now and as you can see we lost all that noise and uh, if we compare two of them side by side you actually can see dramatic difference in the shadows and uh, in a actual picture, so I prefer mental ray in uh, all renderings. Uh, so yeah, and uh, to make actual final clay render, what you want to do is actually I applied one material to all my objects. So I just gonna click on color, select a nice color, something like that. It's maybe just a little lower. I want something close to white. Maybe more yellowish. Something like that. And uh, just hit render. And you should get much nicer image now. I think it's lighter. So, actually, call the speed of rendering if you gonna select. No way, just let, let the render finish. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks much better, much lighter, and uh, all the shadows look better. So anyway, uh, if you want to increase your render time, hit on render. And uh, as you can see, in indirect illumination on the presets, like draft, this will be very quick. If you actually more something and you uh, want to see how fast it's going to render out, and you just want to see a basic uh, colors or image, as you can see, just like that. It's we're gonna, it's we're gonna deflect your shadows and uh, scene gonna become a little bit lighter but if you wanna make a quick render this is what I always use so yeah this is my tutorial on uh, clay renders and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video